The king and queen of advertising in the e-commerce world right now are both Facebook ads and TikTok ads. But which one is better and why? Right now in this video for the first time, I'm breaking down the data, the pros and cons, and my thoughts about both platforms. So stay tuned throughout this entire video for some gold nuggets. Part number one here is data. And we're gonna be going through some different data points. And this first one is monthly active users. So one being Meta. Meta is a container of Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. And for Meta, they have 3.59 billion monthly active users. I want you to really think about this. There are 8 billion people in the world and about 60% of us actually have access to the internet. And TikTok, a newer platform, has 1 billion, which is honestly impressive for its year over year growth, which we're gonna get into here in a second. But based purely off of this piece of data right here, Meta is way beyond where TikTok is. Now out of those platforms, let's take a look into how much of those active monthly users are actually engaging and showing up daily to use these social platforms. So if you look at the blue right here, this chart is for the average time spent in minutes from each platform. So here for Meta, I made an average of all the different platforms, averaging to 25.5 minutes per day. And on TikTok, the average user spends daily 52 minutes, so over double what the users are spending on Meta itself. And the red piece here is how many of those monthly active users actually access the platform every single day and use it. And for Meta to use one of their platforms, a Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, or WhatsApp, it's 78.5%. But TikTok, just the lone wolf as it is, has 90% of its monthly active users using the platform every single day, which is quite impressive as it's not like Meta with many different platforms and types of content consumption inside of it. And the third piece of purely logical data here that I wanna to touch on is the year over year growth in the last three years for these companies. So for Meta and the billions of dollars in revenue it's brought in. Senator, we run ads has gone from you know a subtle 70.7 .7 billion in 2019 up to 85.9 and 117.9 and when you look at a broader time frame of the years you can see that it's essentially from the creation is just a very very consistent progression and it has continued going up every single year and ByteDance which is the owner of TikTok a company based in China in 2019 their revenue was 17 billion and you can see in 2020 when TikTok started taking off even more and more, their revenue doubled. That's like if in this year, Facebook did 70 billion, and then the next year they did over 140 billion in revenue, which they have not even touched that a couple years later. And into the third year showing previous of 2021, ByteDance reported $58 billion in revenue. And obviously not every single penny is from TikTok, but overall as the company, we can see that TikTok has played a very, very significant role in the growth of this company and the revenue coming in. Now on four main topics, including cost, consistency, results, etc., we're going through the pros and cons of these platforms individually. And the first thing I wanna cover here is the pros and cons of starting with either of these platforms right now. So for Facebook, anybody can use it. It has a great user interface. It's very simple to use. It's quick and not buggy. And there are a vast amount of data points to actually choose from based off of how many users they have and all the different options, which we're gonna get a little more into here in a second. But a major con of starting with Facebook ads right now is the fact that it can be very slow burning from scratch for people starting off brand new. Because when you think about it, Facebook has currently over 10 million advertisers trying to run ads profitably on the platform. I don't know the exact number for TikTok, but obviously it's not even comparable, which is a main benefit leading into why TikTok is a cool opportunity right now that is very unique and definitely not going to last forever. And a big piece of using TikTok right now and a pro is the rare opportunity for organic algorithm virality. So I'm sure as you've seen, you know, maybe even some of your own TikToks have gotten lots of views, lots of engagement. That's something that is super underutilized even to this current day by brands not using TikTok to create organic content where you can then get organic virality to a certain degree and then can even use that specific post, add a call to action and use it as an ad itself. And a con of starting with TikTok ads right now 
is the fact that it's a newer ad platform with limited function overall and bugs, etc. And number two, what are the pros and cons of these platforms native ad integration? And for Facebook, we think about the placements that we can choose from. There's over 15 placements that we can choose for our different needs and what we're trying to advertise for, whether we're using a specific image for an Instagram story ad or a specific video, or we're targeting in Messenger, whatever it may be, we have all these different use cases to take advantage of. A con of the ad integrations with the meta platforms are the fact that ads are definitely very well recognized by users compared to the TikTok platform itself is just an endless scroll cycle of people consuming content. So if you can make good content, then you can fit in very natively where people don't even really notice that it's an ad. And the con of TikTok with the ad integration itself is the fact that there's only one type of placement. You know, you're using videos and that's fitting natively within TikTok's scroll feature. Number three, a major aspect and component of this entire conversation is the cost and consistency of each platform. So a pro of Facebook in this category is the fact that they're always gonna be able to spend your money because it's a larger user base. There's many different options and data points that you can use. And when you have a winning ad creative, it's something that you can scale pretty simply and over a long period of time. And the more data you're feeding the AI, the more you're gonna be able to produce results. And a con of using Facebook ads right now on this topic is the fact that costs have gone up. But in my opinion, it's simply supply and demand. There are more people wanting to spend their money for a profitable result for a specific niche and offer than there is actual ad space of the people that are going to be interested. So the people that are winning are the people with good offers, good branding, and good creatives. And the second piece of the cons of using Facebook in this topic right now are data tracking. Ever since I was 14, you know, there's been many changes and we're limited to the data we can see and use on Facebook now where most people just don't know how to actually deal with this situation, where at the end of the day, most of their money isn't being spent where it should be. And there are solutions to the data tracking issues. I suggest you just join our free Discord group, which is gonna be linked in the description below for TikTok and Facebook advertisers. We all kind of collaborate and network, providing value to each other with strategies, etc. And on TikTok right now, a big pro is that it's a new platform. So the costs associated are much lower than typically what you're gonna see on Facebook. And the reason that I see this happening for the, the lower cost and reaching people is the fact that it's very fast paced content that people are you know, directly engaged in. And when something is so native to the platform and they're able to you know, find interest in that, it can just be a very profitable advertising channel for you. Uh, but one of the cons of this fact and actually scaling offers on TikTok is the matter of ad fatigue itself. Uh, because you're having to stop people from this constant feedback loop they're in of scrolling and laughing or crying or you know just playing with people's emotions, keeping them attached. You know you have to stop that feedback loop and somehow catch their attention. And the way you're doing that is by constantly creating and testing new ad creatives. But the good part about it is that you can do that on your organic page, get organic traffic and potential virality, and then use that for your ads moving forward. Uh, you know another con just I put here last thing on the TikTok is the fact that there's a lack of targeting and audience size. So obviously there's not as many users, you can't target, you know, depending on where you are, you know, as many locations and people as you could on Facebook itself. But moving forward, I wanna to touch on support. So for Facebook, they're definitely not known as the platform with the best support in the world, but I've really had no problem getting in touch with someone and getting issues resolved for profiles that are aged, that have been around for a while. I'm not creating a brand new Facebook profile, setting up a business manager, and trying to spend as much money as I can. Facebook prefers longevity, and they know where you are, who you are, and what you're doing. Uh, a con of the Facebook support side is, many people are just creating profiles and circumventing, and Facebook doesn't like to give warnings. They'll just you know, put the hammer down on you for whatever that may be. Typically, it's people that don't take a look at the policies or it's newbie dropshippers stealing other people's content and something may happen like either you know it's light where it's, they just reject the ad and then you remake it and you know you're good to go 
or it's something like they restrict your profile from advertising or disable your ad account. And typically I don't see those types of things happening unless you're really circumventing the policies. And on TikTok, the support definitely is not bad at all. If you've used TikTok, you know they have the ticket support system. Uh, you know, in my experience so far with TikTok, the con side of the support is the fact of the inconsistency in getting ads approved as well as suspensions. I've had even recently a very random suspension and then kind of uh, no explanation whatsoever or guiding me into where and how to deal with that. As always, if there's a will, there's a way, but it is nice to have support and know that you're gonna be able to you know, have your questions answered and problems resolved as long as you aren't doing anything wrong. Truth be told though, most of my time and money is still favored on Facebook ads because I see Meta as an anchor platform. It's easy to get the shiny ball syndrome and you know jump from thing to thing like many people do, trying to you know chase the bag. But realistically, as an advertiser in this world playing the long-term game, you should never just jump ship from one platform to another. And don't get me wrong, TikTok is a really cool opportunity and a great platform that I think will continue to evolve and many people are making money with it, you know, maybe even yourself watching this right now. Being multi-channel is the key to longevity and success in this space of advertising. Because every platform, you're gonna have your ups and downs with, that's just how it is. But for something like TikTok, it's really gonna take a lot to become you know, the known and trusted mega corporation that Meta currently is. And most don't realize that TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is a Chinese company, but in China, TikTok, the app itself, is not even accessible. ByteDance has, you know, what could be considered like a sister app called Douyin, which is like TikTok in China, but it's more education focused and actually has for the youth, you know, scroll time pauses. There's downtime every day from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And you can only watch up to 40 minutes a day, etc. So the future and purpose of TikTok is unknown. I know there was times in the past people thought uh, you know, the president, was, he was gonna remove it from the United States, nobody could access it, and all these different things were gonna happen. And at the end of the day, I really don't expect either of these platforms, you know, for their costs to continue to reduce over times or anything like that. You know, I had a mentor say to me, that's something that stuck with me in my head. That was very simple. You know, he had asked me, you know, how much in revenue are you doing right now? Like, how, how much money are you making? And I told him, and he's like, and I told him, you know, I was basically, at this time, I felt like I was stuck in a certain place, and he's like, look, man, this stuff is not gonna get any easier. And it was such a simple sentence, but very true. There's no way any of this stuff is gonna get any easier and it's not gonna get any cheaper. You're not gonna see you know, Facebook, you know, their advertising costs just completely slash in half for completely no reason whatsoever. It's simply supply and demand and the real winners of the e-commerce world are the people that are getting data and people that are making data back decisions and being omnipresent with their marketing. So this is my logical data backed and semi-biased explanation as to why meta ads are still better than TikTok ads. I spend most of my days managing ads, speaking with clients and students inside of our advanced advertiser mentorship group. So if you have a specific situation you're in and are looking to scale with your Facebook ads and become more profitable, then go ahead and just message me the word ads on Instagram and I'm gonna be able to send you a personal message and see if it's something I can help you out with. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day and be productive. And I'll see you in the next video every Saturday. Peace.